remember that, and you said you're calling off for, for tomorrow night, so I'll make sure that I note that down, okay? No, 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 no. Listen, 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 no, no, listen. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yo, what's up guys? I'm Stuart. And I'm Isho. And this is Sec TV. Today, we're going to be calling the sick the places we don't work at. Let's see what happens. First off, we want to give credit to Nelk for being the first ones to ever do this video. So we got a list of places we're going to call. We're going to go down the list and call these places. No shit, are you going to go up the list? Hey, it's Mike. I'm calling in because I can't make it to work tomorrow. Uh, what department? Um, I'm kind of new still, so I kind of don't know. They got me all over the place training. Uh, can you hold on for a second? Yeah. I mean, uh, but real quick, like, I want to be honest with you guys. The reason I can't come in is because, like, since tomorrow is my first shift, I was going to, like, celebrate it by watching a movie, like, with my girlfriend, right? So, two hours ago, I watched The Rings, and uh -huh. honest to God, that movie scared the shit out of me. So, like, I don't think I'm going to make it to work tomorrow because I'm literally, like, in my closet right now calling you because I'm actually, I'm s so scared right now because... I was trying to make make it not that I'm scared in front of her because I'm her knight in shining armor. Uh -huh. I, I got to be there to protect her, so you know. And I'm just scared because that girl when she came out of the well, scared uh -huh. me out of my boxers, man. Okay. Literally, like I'm really at my closet right now. If you come in my house right now, you'll see me in my closet. I'm holding onto my blanket. Do you think that's a good reason to call in though? Like, just tell them I'm sick, please. Okay, I'll it's, do that. It's literally my first shift. If I tell them, like, I'm scared shitless because I watched a movie of a girl coming out of a well, they're going to laugh at me and they're going to fire me. Okay, I'll, I'll tell them you're sick. Promise? I promise. Do you think I'm a pussy, though? You'll be okay. Really? Yeah, you'll Cause, be okay. Because I found that video on online and I have, like, six days to live or something, it said. Okay, you're going to be fine. Really? Yes. Can you come over to my house right now and like cuddle with me or something? I'm scared. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm working. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you take care. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for holding, Mrs. Gerald. Hey, I'm calling because I have a shift tomorrow, but I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, can you just tell the manager I'm sick? Uh, but like, like the real reason like I'm not going to be able to make it is because like I got a one-day free trial, like Brizer's account, and I want to spend the whole day watching, you know? And, like, I just don't want to come in tomorrow. Just tell him I'm sick, you know? Just tell him I'm sick. And I'm sorry, who is this? Uh, this is Ethan. Ethan? Yeah, Ethan Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury! And you, and you, what area do you work in? I think it was produce. I'm actually, like, new. Oh, you're a new associate? Yeah. Are you want to actually, like, come, like, skip tomorrow, you know, and just, like, watch with me? Like, me and you can watch? Okay. You know, like, Alright, I'm just letting know you're not coming in. I mean, you don't want to, like, come join me, you know? I'm sorry? You don't want to join me? It's a one-day free trial, man. You can, like, it's... It, you're really gonna like it. Damn it! Hi, um, this is Michael. Um, my first shift is tomorrow, and I can't make it to work. Like, I know it's embarrassing because it's my first shift and all, but, um, I'm just gonna be honest with you, and I hope, like, you can understand this, but, like, me and my girlfriend, we actually got in an argument, and she actually just, like, stole my car. And I have no way of getting to work. Like, I'm messaging her telling her, like, bring it back. Yeah, you want to try taking, you didn't, you want to try taking Uber or the bus or anything like that to get up here? I, actually, this is my first job, too. Like, I have no money to take an Uber, you know? Like, I'm always asking money from my mom. And, like, I just feel bad for asking her always, so I don't want to take any more money from her. I get that. Um, okay. Uh, and what's your name? Michael. I work in produce. Yeah, it's like my first shift. And I, this is really embarrassing too. Like it's my literally my first shift, and this has to happen. Schofield. Schofield. S C O F I E L D. Alrighty, I will let them know. Okay, but um, real quick, do you think, like, I really am confused right now because it just, just happened right now. Do you think, like, I should call the cops or, like, what should I do? Uh, well, she, she stole your vehicle, I would definitely. I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, like, I know we got an argument, but I'm still in love with her. Like, what if she gets arrested and all that? Like, how am I going to explain yeah. it to her family? Well, 
Because, I mean, what would you do? Would you call the cops? Uh, I don't know. She's a stupid driver, too. I think she's going to crash into a pole or something. I don't know. Have you tried to get a hold of her family? I don't know. Her mom's not picking up either. She's like, oh, she's just joking around. But she was really serious. She told me to quote unquote f off you cheating bitch. I didn't even cheat on her. All I did was make a Tinder account. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Don't you think that's dumb though? Like, I just make a Tinder account. She's gonna take my car. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, I'm being that serious. Do you have a Tinder account? No, I don't. You should make one. I mean, it's worth it. I mean, I don't care that she's getting mad at me. To be honest. You know, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna go to walk to her house. I'm gonna break every windshield in her car. Keep, don't report me though, because like, keep it between us. I could lose my job just by getting, uh, they won't know it's me though, so yeah. how would they arrest me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, do anything like that just because of that, I guess. I mean, I broke out of prison once, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, because I broke out of prison because my uh, brother Lincoln, he got arrested. So, my brother Lincoln, he got arrested and got put on, like, death penalty, so I had to go get arrested on purpose and rescue him. Okay, just let, tell him I'm sick, please. Hi. Okay, thank you. Yeah, have a good night. You too. So I'm actually calling because I just um I just got hired like last week okay and I actually have a shift tomorrow and but I'm calling it off because like I can't be able to come in because I'm actually going to South America tomorrow because I just entered a salsa making competition and I gotta get some Peruvian puff peppers. Okay, you have the hotline number to call in. Um, if you had orientation, they would have gave it to you with your package. Okay, I'm gonna have to call them and see if they do it because they gave it to you with your package to tell you what your win number is and the process of how to call in. Oh okay, yeah. So like I was actually drunk during orientation. And like, I don't remember anything. Like what I was, is your name? Oh, my name is Michael. Michael what? Michael Benson. Michael Benson? Yeah. Michael Benson. Yeah. Okay. You can just call me like Mike by short, but yeah, I have to get some Peruvian okay, puff peppers. Michael Benson. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just tell the manager like actually I'm sick? Like, cause like, I, like, come on, let's be real. If I tell him I'm going to South America tomorrow, like, come on. And like, don't tell him gay. Don't tell him I was okay, drunk. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm, I'm getting okay. ready to tell you something. You're speaking to a member of management. We oh. have an integrity policy here, and you just telling me two things. One, you're calling off that you just started because you have to go to South America. Two, you were in orientation and you were drunk. So I'll remember that, and you said you're calling off for, for tomorrow night, so I'll make sure that I note that down, okay? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Yeah, but like, so you, so if you I don't. Have that, if you have that, then you would have a number to call in to have the um, 800 number to call the Walmart hotline to say that you're calling in. If you are not able to do that, then that will be noted as well. You can't so just they, like. They would have supplied you with your win number and the 1 800 number to call in. If you cannot and are not able to do that, then tomorrow, for tomorrow's shift, you would need to call in because one. You not calling in is automatically four absences. The policy for new hires is four absences and automatic termination. Oh. So you calling in tonight does not cover for you for tomorrow. So you would need to call tomorrow. Yeah, can you just act, like can you actually just tell management I'm really sick? You, you didn't hear what I said. No idea. Okay, that see th that would be a problem as well. I am the salary member of the management. You said your name. Oh, was you're you're you're, you're management. Oh, so I can't. Oh, so I'm I'm good to go to South America tomorrow, right? Hey, hey, that's that's you and your job. I have a job. Oh yeah, I have a job too. I have to go to South America tomorrow. Okay, all right. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. And that's a wrap, guys. Be sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and hit that subscribe button. Let's try to smash five likes on this video. And until next time, Sex TV out. Whoa.